the last two videos, we have seen how different stars live their life and how they end up. If you haven't watched it yet, the link is given in the description box. In this video, we will see different types of supernovae and how it happens. Supernova is a spectacular and powerful explosion of a massive star at the end of its life. It can outshine the entire galaxy. Supernovae is the reason why we exist. There are mainly two types of supernovae, type 1 and type 2. They are classified according to the nature of their spectrum. If there is hydrogen lines in their spectrum, it is a type 2 supernovae. Whereas, if hydrogen lines are missing, it is type 1 supernovae. Type 1 can be further classified as type 1a, 1b and 1c. Let's see one by one. As iron accumulates in the core of a supermassive star, fusion stops. In the absence of outward fusion pressure, the star becomes unstable. The gravity will win. The core slowly contracts. More massive the core is, electron degeneracy pressure could not hold the core. The inward collapse of the core creates a huge thermal shock which blows out the outer shells wide. Such an explosive end to the star is called the type 2 supernovae. Depending on the initial mass of the star, the core may become a neutron star or a black hole. Crab Nebula and SN1987A are two examples of such supernovae. Type 1b and 1c supernovae are also due to core collapse. For core collapse supernovae to happen, the star should have at least 8 times the mass of the sun. For some supermassive stars, the hydrogen-rich outer shell blows away as stellar wind. This exposes the helium-rich shell. Then the unstable star explodes just like a type of supernova. This type of supernovae are type 1b. SN 2011DH hosted in the galaxy NGC 5194, which is located 23 million light years away, is an example. For some other massive stars, the helium rich layer also blows away, exposing the carbon rich layer. Thus, occurring supernovae is type 1c. Core contraction supernovae are often associated with the gamma ray bursts or GRB. Unlike other types, type 1a supernova explosion happens mainly due to thermal runaway. Now, what is thermal runaway? Thermal runaway happens when the temperature of the system changes the condition in such a way that it results in an uncontrollable increase in temperature. Binary systems involving a white dwarf and another star are generally the actors involved in this play. The white dwarf steals and devours the stellar material from the neighbor. As it ferociously feeds on its companion, the white dwarf put on weight and it exceeds 1.4 solar mass. This triggers a short nuclear fusion sequence. White dwarfs have no source of energy. As a result, for carbon-oxygen white dwarf, this fusion increases the temperature which leads to a thermal runaway. The tremendous amount of energy obtained by the white dwarf makes it go off like a supernova explosion. Whereas, for oxygen-magnesium-neon white dwarf, a kind of white dwarf which is already near the critical mass 1.4 solar mass, this increase in mass can trigger the electron capture and as the rate of electron capture is much faster than oxygen fusion reaction, it collapses to become a neutron star. Another way type 1a supernova occur is by the merge of two white dwarfs. When two white dwarfs merge, they will create a super Chandrasekhar Lemage white dwarf, which will exceed the critical mass. The thermal runaway would set in, leading to a brilliant supernova explosion.
This is a Type 1 a supernova explosion SN 2018 GV spotted by NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope on 2018 January in the galaxy NGC 2525 which is located 70 million light years from us. Supernovae is not the end of the story. The temperatures are too high during the explosion that it fuses and creates rest of all the naturally occurring elements recorded in the periodic table. This material, including those created inside the star's interior, is recycled. New stars and planets and even life is formed from that raw materials. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more informative videos.